Atheroma is a disease of the lining and wall of large and medium sized arteries in the systemic circulation. Atheroma progresses from fatty streaks to ulcerated occlusive fatty deposits. Atheroma affects systemic arteries, not veins. It is a disease of the intima. Fatty streaks progress to lipid plaques and then to fibrous plaques. Atheroma is composed of macrophages, smooth muscle cells, cholesterol-rich lipid and collagen, and atheroma is intensely thrombogenic. This is what atheroma looks like down the microscope. The white needle-shaped spaces are cholesterol clefts. This is what fatty streaks look like. And this is what a complicated, ulcerated atheromatous plaque looks like. Risk factors for atheroma include advancing age, male gender, diabetes, familial and hyperlipidemia, hypertension, smoking, low socioeconomic status, low birth weight, obesity, stress, lack of exercise and a type A personality. The sites where atheroma commonly develop include bifurcation of the aorta, branch points of major arteries around the ostea, particularly in the abdominal aorta, and these are sites subject to hemodynamic stresses due to local turbulence and shear stresses. This causes damage to the endothelium, where an atheromatous plaque can start to build up. Complications of atheroma include narrowing of an artery by the atheroma, thrombus formation on a plaque, bleeding into a plaque, the artery walls with complicated plaques become weakened and the elastic lamina is damaged, aneurysms form particularly in the abdominal aorta, and atheroma may embolize, and these are called cholesterol emboli. This is the cross section of a coronary artery severely occluded by atheroma. This is a photograph of a coronary artery. The brown area is where hemorrhage has occurred into the atheromatous plaque. This has caused fatal occlusion of the coronary artery. And this is what a hemorrhage into an atheromatous plaque looks like down the microscope. In this atheromatous aorta we can see thrombus that has developed on the atheromatous plaque. This photograph shows a saccular aortic aneurysm that has arisen on the background of severe atheroma.